All right, fighthype.com on hand at the Mayweather Boxing Club with, of course, you know, one of the true sluggers in the sport, my man, Rolando Roly Romero. Roly, what's going on, man? What's, uh, let's start with you, man. What's next? 135, 140, what are you hearing? 147. For real? Eh, I don't know what the fuck next. Yeah, I know, I know what's next. I know what's next, but I can't disclose that information. Okay. Okay. What about maybe a time frame? Summer, spring? April. Okay, April. Main event? Main event. Yeah, I, th I think y'all gonna like it. I think y'all gonna like this because it puts me in position of something really big. You know? Is it a? Is it an opponent in the top ten? I don't want to give much information else. But but you said people will be happy. It's people are going to be happy because, let's just say it like this, it's something that I want. It's something that I want that I specifically asked for. That you went to your your I, team? And, yeah. I, I asked for. Okay. And, and it'll, seriously though, will it be at 147? Y'all, I to see the weight, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guy that can be in a lot of different weight classes, you know. You don't look. You know, it's at 160. You don't look. I don't know if you're 160 right now. I'm 160. All right. Maybe a little bit more. I could fight at 160. But it doesn't look like you've been letting yourself get too high in weight. Fuck, Rolly. He's full of shit. <laughs> what weight's yeah. he fighting at? Who, oh, Rolly? Yeah. Uh, 180. Yeah. See. <laughs> Good, 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 good friends you got there. They, they, they covered well. But, but Roly, one fight you did want. You know, you're talking about going to your team for the fight you want. You wanted Adrian Broner, and uh, apparently Broner, he hears that call out and he says that fight it does nothing for him. You lost the biggest. I mean, yeah. it does a lot for him. I mean, it's a pay-per-view fight that's gonna sell immensely because it's already beyond hyped up. Like you know, like I mean, everybody talked. I didn't bring it up, everybody else did, you know? So it was like, you know, imagine me and Broner going at it over and over and over again, you know? But, I mean, so if it does nothing for him, I mean, I'm pretty sure it does more for him than whoever the hell he's fighting right now. I can't even, uh, I don't even know the damn name. Michael Williams Jr. from North Carolina. I believe. Okay, so what, 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 what sells more? What will most likely make Adrian Broner more money? Me? Or Michael Williams Jr. from North Carolina. North Carolina. We'll call him North Carolina. So then, why do you? Well, okay. So what do you think is his real reasoning for not wanting the fight? Look, I mean, I, I could go into like w uh, other things I heard and all that stuff, you know. And you know, I mean, a lot of people that are in power of both mine and his career is our forte for the fight so i don't know but like i said i like adrian broner adrian broner is dead ass one of my favorite fighters like i i, I, I like and he knows he knows that I, he, he knows i truly mean that but he knows that he's one of my favorite fighters why is he one of your favorite fighters when usually you only like punchers like devastating punchers Broner was a damn puncher. At lightweight? Yeah. But lightweight. One, the thing is, Bert, I don't think Broner should have skipped 140 pounds, went to 47. Uh-huh. I mean, he won a belt. So, I mean, I, th then again, it, it was a great fucking, but, you know, Broner's not the biggest person at 147, you know. I think he should have maybe, you know, took his time at 140 and all this stuff, you know. By the time he did go to 40, I mean, it was too late, you know. Mm-hmm. But... Is that where you would want to fight him at if it happened? 40 or 47 or? Anyway. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Shit. Uh -oh. ah, but I, I genuinely do like Broner a lot. Like I said, like he, Prime Broner was a monster. Is it? Is he still in there, Prime Broner, or did that ship sail? Like no matter how hard he well, trained, or can well, he get well, it back? Well, I haven't seen him fight in like how long? Since I think uh, early 21, almost, almost two years. Yeah, so that, that's almost two years. That's yeah. two years. February. You know? so I, I, I can't really say, you know, because like I said, I don't know how well he is right now. He took a lot of time off, man. It, it, it's hard for me to really give in, you know, like is he gonna come back good or all that stuff, you know? I hope he's been in the gym, you know, consistently training and sparring because at least that helps with ring rust. You know, if you don't fight for a long time, I mean, as long as you're in the gym training and sparring all the time, you're not going to be rusty, you know? Well, I just so, asked because, you know, like we've seen Fury 
gain all that weight, drugs, and yet somehow that, that prime was still in there. And with Broner, getting in his mid-30s, he's gained some weight and, and had to take it off multiple times. You know, it, can your body still summon what it had in your 20s when you've been yeah, through Yeah, but you're, com you're comparing a heavyweight to a 130 pounder right. that went up to 35, that went up to 40. Right. Or uh, well, 47 and 40. You know, so I mean, you no, know, you can't, you can't really compare the the two. Like, you can be fat in heavyweight. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. And in heavyweight, man, and I'll tell you like this, man. With the damn heavyweights now, if you're a half decent, uh, like a half decent fighter heavyweight, you're gonna go far. It I, heavyweight is competitive. Obviously, it's a competitive. Every division is competitive. But I don't feel it's as competitive as, let's say, for instance, 147 mm -hmm. or 140 or 35, you know? Like, heavyweight, there's a lot of fat, sluggish people, you know, where, where it's like, you know, you could just tap them in, you know? Because they don't got to make weight. They can fucking eat tacos and go and fucking fight, you know? Well, fucking else, we got to kill ourselves to make weight. So it's more competition and it's more strain on our bodies, I feel, you know? You can't really compare... Tyson Fury career to come back to Adrian Broner because mm -hmm. he for him to be at his prime and at his best he would have to be at 35 or 40 right right but Tyson Fury doesn't have to make weight so I mean obviously you want to be slimmer but it doesn't mean to go fucking dehydrate your body down to fucking 35 or some shit you know so so with you and AB do you think it's a case of you know Broner didn't just didn't want the fight risk reward thing, or it's it's the people that run. No 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 no. It's a great reward. Like I I don't care what anyone says. I mean, like I said, I mean, we both get views. Um. So and like I said, it's a fight that everybody wants to see. Cause like I mean, like I said, I didn't bring it up. Everybody else did. Everybody's like, it's a fucking fantasy fight, you know. But. I don't know. At the end of it, he, you know, he's with BLK Prime, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I, it's not like it's gonna happen, you know. Right. So, so it's, could we well, probably? Well, yeah, you know, they would. I would have to either go to BLK Prime, or he would have to come to Showtime. You know, and both of those events seem very, very unlikely. You know. A any thoughts on uh, that going on? BLK Prime. And, and just you, you know, know I, 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 I ain't gonna lie, man. I like it when you know everybody comes out giving all these money and the fighters and all that stuff, you know. But it's just like, I mean, you got you you got to overpay to play, you know. Mm -hmm. When you come out new, you know. So I don't know. We gotta see how how it all shows out in the future, you know. Like I said, that's not that's not who I'm with. I'm with Showtime, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm with. So I can't really say, you know, but I'm happy that they're paying fighters, you know, that's, I think, I think that's good, you know, mm -hmm. but I don't know, I'm with Showtime.